Frequency is a music video game developed by Harmonix and published by SCEA. It is the first major release from Harmonix. It was released in November 2001. A sequel titled Amplitude was released in 2003. Topic: Gameplay. In the game, a player portrays a virtual avatar called a freak and travels down an octagonal tunnel, with each wall containing a musical track. These tracks contain sequences of notes. As the player hits buttons corresponding to the note placement on the track, the sonic energy from within is released and the music plays. If the player plays two measures of the track without any errors, the track is captured, and the music plays automatically until the next pre-determined section of the song. All songs featured in the game are edited for ease of play. Some tracks are bonus tracks and only open up when all notes are played, allowing the user to pick up freestyle points. Power-ups are available which allow the immediate capturing of the track or the doubling of points. If a player continually misses notes, their energy meter reduces until the game is over. High scores are achieved in the game by quickly moving from track to track, as they are completed, which increases a point multiplier. Tracks with more notes are worth more points, so choosing those over simple tracks is advantageous as well. The game features eight different arenas that the player could attempt the song in. These arenas, as well as the tracks and notes, take on the appearance of Tron-style graphics, including limited video screens that would show the player's freak if the player was doing well, or static if the player was about to run out of power. Depending on the arena chosen, the track would curve and loop around indefinitely until the end of the song. One arena is noted for being a completely straight track, thus working well as a practice arena for some of the more difficult songs. Frequency allowed players to create remixes of any of the songs in the game. While the player was limited to the instruments and structure of the song, the remix could include different melodies or beat lines, change in tempo, and modulation of the sound of an instrument. Remixes could then be saved and played as normal songs, though no high score records are kept for these. Frequency was one of the first games to be supported by the PS2 network adapter, allowing for up to four players to play against each other as well as to trade their remixes. Online play was added with an online-capable demo version four songs, supplied with the network adapter. The original disc could also be swapped after loading the demo disc, allowing online play with all songs. Multiplayer mode has all players attempting to complete the song on the same track, allowing for players to fight for the highest score. New power-ups only available in multiplayer mode are able to disrupt the performance of another player. However, Sony has shut down the matchmaking server for online play and has made no provisions for third-party replacements. <laughs> songs Some of the songs are actually in-house. Productions by Kassin Crooker, who served as a musical director for the game and is also a former member of the band Freezepop. Some of his aliases include, DJ HMX HMX standing for Harmonix, the game's developer, Symbian Project, and Computer Controller. Several of the artists featured in the game would contribute to its sequel Amplitude. These artists include, The Crystal Method, BT, Acrobatic, Chris Child Kodomo, of Surge Core, Melissa Kaplan, Freezepop, as well as Crooker himself returning with his various pseudonyms. This game also marks the first inclusion of Freezepop in a Harmonix game. Other Harmonix titles with a contribution from this band include Frequency's sequel Amplitude, Karaoke Revolution, Guitar Hero, Guitar Hero 2, and Rock Band. Here is a list of artists who perform in the game, with corresponding song title, in the order they are encountered, denotes an original track created specifically for Frequency Crystal Method, The Winner, Acrobatic, Exterminator, No Doubt, Ex Girlfriend, Psycho X Remix, Orbit, XLR8R, Freeze Pop, Science Genius Girl, Dub Pistols, Official Chemical, Low Fidelity All Stars, Low Fies in Ibiza, Fear Factory, Frequency, Paul Oakenfold, See It, Ethan Eves, Selecta, Powerman 5000, Dangerous Go, or Orbital, Funny Break, One Is Enough, Weekend Ravers Mix, DJ Q Bert, Cosmic Assassins, BT, Smart Bomb, Curve, Worst Mistake, Jungle Brothers, What's the Five Zero, Funkstar Deluxe, Ignition, Roni Size and Represent, Railing PT, Two, 
Meet Beat Manifesto, Dynamite Fresh Juno Reactor, Higher Ground, Tony Trippi, Motomatic DJHMX, Ibiza Dreams, Vocals by Melissa Kaplan, Symbian Project, Funky Dope Maneuver, Computer Controller, Control Your Body, Symbian Project, Freecode Surge Core, Luge Crash, Robot Kid vs Inter, Sect, End of Your World, Cosmic Assassins by DJ Q Bert is the version featured in the movie Wave Twisters, not the version found on the album of the same name. In the European version, there is one extra song on first stage, called, Reload, Y. <laughs> development Harmonix had originally pitched the concept of frequency to Microsoft but were told by now former vice president of game publishing Ed Fries that no music rhythm game would succeed without a custom hardware controller. This advice indirectly led Harmonix to become involved with Guitar Hero with a custom guitar-shaped controller, and leading to a multi-billion dollar franchise. Reception Ryan Lesser, an art director at Harmonix, said that Frequency didn't sell very well. <laughs>